Okay, so in this video, I'm going to illustrate a couple of problems with the way the invisible capture works from a display perspective. So it seems like we've got a lot of great options here, but there's a couple paradoxes we can run into. For example, consider this particular problem. Right now, I have the reCAPTCHA set to invisible mode with bottom right ticked. And because of the positioning of the elements around the invisible reCAPTCHA, I get the following undesired behavior. So you would think I could just go to the element uh, containing this particular reCAPTCHA and set its overflow to hidden, which I have clearly done, but uh, that's being ignored because this particular reCAPTCHA badge element has a position of fixed. If I switch to absolute, still get a little bit of a problem. It's slightly less of a problem, but uh, essentially a paradox here. Main problem here is these styles are now attached to the actual element for the style attribute and are not easy to override. So in all, one of the bigger pictures here to consider is if this invisible captcha is supposed to be invisible, it should be a lot easier to make it non-invasive. For example, maybe to just turn it off and have it only pop up when someone fails the recapture. Now it seems that in Google's documentation, there's an option to do this under data size. But if I remove this value or I set it to nothing for the default, it turns into reCAPTCHA 2.0. So here's my HTML, and here I have the data size set to invisible. Now I'm going to remove that and then refresh the page. And here is what those efforts yield. Notice here, all I have done is simply removed the value from the data size attribute. If I completely remove it, I get the same results. What we're stuck with over here is the reCAPTCHA 2.0 version. So apparently there's no way to make the invisible CAPTCHA invisible. It says that this is an optional value, but if the value invisible is not provided, then the reCAPTCHA becomes reCAPTCHA 2.0. So for example, here is data size set to invisible, and the main problem we have here is this badge is not very invisible. It's very difficult to get the invisible reCAPTCHA to look like it belongs in any of the variety of custom form layouts that might be out there. And if I remove the data size attribute, it switches over to reCAPTCHA 2.0, which much like the invisible reCAPTCHA, is very difficult to make it look like it belongs within a form. So a couple suggestions that I think would really make the invisible or the entire reCAPTCHA system a lot easier to use would be as follows. First off, honor the invisible attribute. Let us truly turn the invisible reCAPTCHA invisible so it only pops up when we need it to. And secondly, we need way more CSS control over this box. Currently, we can only really change the outside edge of it since all of these other items are trapped within the iframe. The same thing's true with the invisible reCAPTCHA. So it seems like no matter what we do for either one of these forms, the reCAPTCHA remains a thorn in our side when it comes to having a nice form design. For example, take a look at how nice this looks. In this scenario, we would only want the reCAPTCHA to pop up if the user was detected as a potential spammer. And that's a very different layout as compared to these two. When I breeze back and forth between these three examples here, clearly this is the winner from a design perspective, at least aesthetically. So what I'm thinking would make sense for both of these is a new data attribute, something called past CSS, something that allows us to pass all of our CSS into this iframe. Maybe even cool things like allowing us to match the color to whatever it is that our brand's theme is. That would be a really great way to get these reCAPTCHA boxes to match what's on the screen. But currently, there's no way to force our styles to be inherited within this invisible reCAPTCHA iframe since there's no data attribute allowing us to pass them. So I think that could be a really great solution. Let's just make one more data attribute called past CSS and then we'd be able to customize these reCAPTCHA boxes to look really awesome, or at the very least, hide them in the invisible mode so our forms can be nice and clean. Keep in mind, the main thing that I'm looking to accomplish here is figuring out how to stop this sort of buggy behavior on the reCAPTCHA box, so I can actually make the reCAPTCHA box invisible and uh, look nice with the form. Yeah, this is really strange. Why does it do that? Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas, please let me know.